What's up, YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and today. I mean. And Barista Brittany. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Uh, today. Is it, is it a good camera? Yeah, it looks All good. All right, and today we are going to be dialing in some new beans sent from Flavio, which is one of our subscribers. So, again, thank you so much from Apprende Cafe. So, I can't wait. We are going to dial in um, three different. Uh, three different beans here and we are also going to be making some milk based beverages with these uh, Pretty excited to try these uh, so the tasting notes on the bags are uh, This one is the uh, Milana blend. Uh, it is a dark roast level chocolate and nuts for the um, Tasting notes it is 60% wash and 40% natural. So uh, There is the bag here. So we are going to do this one first the second one uh, is also a dark blend with, uh, it's called Nepali, um, or Nepali. It is a dark blend with dark chocolate and nuts for tasting notes. It is 90% um, uh, Arabica washed and 10% uh, Robusta natural. So that is the Nepali. So this is going to be the second one. And then the third one, which I have tried already, uh, I pre-opened the, these bags today just now, but I have tried this one for pour over yesterday uh, off camera, but I will be doing that again uh, this weekend for you guys. This one was the uh, Oksaka, so I might be saying, I might be butchering that name, but if Flavio, if you're watching, definitely correct me in the comments below, but I'll show you the bag here. So that is the name. Uh, it is, um, I believe that says variety it is strawberry and pink guava so that's why i had to try it on pour over actually it was aeropress uh because those taste apps or those sound absolutely delicious and um spoiler alert i could definitely taste the strawberry in them so it was not very strong when you first tasted it but the aftertaste was really strawberry so definitely must give that a try so again thank you flavio for sending me these we are going to be using the Rebel Dual Boiler to pull our shots and to froth our milk today. So we are gonna go ahead and start. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these beans over here. And the first beans on the list is the Milana. So we are just going to come on over here. Hello, Mr. Thomas, Eduardo, Justin. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we're gonna start at grind setting, uh, let's go grind setting nine. Uh, so we're gonna start with that. So here we go. So this is a, um, a dark roast and to be honest, they look pretty light. Flavio's on. Hi Flavio. So these are their dark roasts. Um, compared to like what I'm used to of a dark roast like Starbucks, um, that's what I kind of think of a, a dark roast. Uh, these definitely look a little bit more medium, but I love medium to dark roast. So, uh, can't wait to try these out. So again, really nice there. Uh, there's no, there's pretty good quality. There's no like little broken ones everywhere. Um, so yeah, definitely, um, nice quality there. So here we go. Let me go ahead and change this setting here. If you guys are just tuning in, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Justin asked if the 8 p.m. live every day, the new schedule. Um, as of late, yes, because I have not been sleeping good. So I'm trying to get more sleep in my life. Um, That's so important. I've been working. Uh, this is my 12th day of work in a row. So um, it's going to be nice when uh, I have my four days off coming up now uh, after tonight. So once I get done with work tonight, I have four days off. I'll be making some um, edited content and I'll be going live throughout the day. So definitely look forward to that. Let's get it. Hello, Hello, Dane. Hi, Dane. All right.
right, so one thing I like to do is just weigh it out and give it a nice little smell because you always like to smell the aroma coming out. I don't know if I'm just if I'm just <laughs> weird, I'm just weird, but you're just weird. I'm just kidding. Mmm, smells delicious. All right, so today we are going to be using our wooden tools. We are going to be using the Moda tamper and this off-brand distribution tool, but it's nice wooden finish. Uh, kind of looks like a jack leveler, uh, just kind of a cheaper version. So if, I will put this down in the links below as well. Um, hopefully it's available. It's been unavailable for quite some time now. So um, I will definitely link that below if I can find it for you guys. Eduardo asks, what work you do, Dylan? So I work for a pharmaceutical company for plasma. All right. All right, so we need to go a little bit deeper here. So that is one thing with this tool that is nice. It's pretty easy to um, pretty easy to distribute and change, but it does hold a lot of ground. So that is the only negative about that tool. Nice firm distribution here. And let's pull our shot. So we're gonna see our baseline where we are and we will definitely have to adjust accordingly so all right so here we go i will try to record this the best that i can we're finally getting some uh, bottomless shots back in here. So as you can see, we went a little too fine. So we're definitely gonna have to um, make it a little bit more coarse. Uh, you see a lot of channeling there, so it's not coming together. There we go. All right, so definitely some channeling going on. And we're gonna have to adjust that for sure. So I'm gonna give this back to my wife. This is gonna taste uh, really bad. Hmm. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to increase that now. I'm gonna give this a taste test. It's gonna taste absolutely miserable, but I'm gonna try it out and uh, probably dump it right after I try it. Yeah, don't drink that. <laughs> All right, I'll be, I'll be back. Don't, don't you go anywhere. Hold on. That's right, don't you go anywhere. All right. I'm trying to get it back on the We are going to try this once again. Oh my gosh, I keep getting my finger in the camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Why don't you just keep it off? Just hold it. I will. I was just practicing on putting it back in. All right, so just go ahead and cleaning my portafilter right now. Eduardo asked if you saw that the Flare uploaded a YouTube video on their new Flare 58 that's going on pre-sale on April 7th. I did. So pretty excited about that. Definitely looking into getting one. Maybe. Eduardo said, I just love your coffee bar setup. <laughs> Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right. So we're gonna go again, 20 grams. Dane asked if we've tried his beans yet. So I am on the, um, I just finished up the raspberry candy. I am going to be opening up all of your bags of beans and making tons of coffee this weekend. So I got 
let's just say we're going to be really caffeinated this weekend because <laughs> I got a lot of beans that I am going to be using and trying and probably inviting a lot of people over to try them with me. So, there you go. All right, so here comes the second one here. Uh, I made a three-part adjustment here, so I went coarser by three on the niche. So we are on number nine. Now we are on number 12. What do you think of Yemeni beans? Do you know what those are? I have never tried Yemeni beans. I don't even know what they are. Yemeni, that's a cool name. 20.1 grams. Kind of sounds like yummy. Like yummy? Yeah, <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> I'm oh, <God>. following you. <laughs> All right, so we have these in here. I'm actually going to go with my trusty steed here. A little bit better distribution. All right, so here we go. Come on over here. All right, so this is going to be our second shot. We're hoping for a good one here. So I'm gonna give you guys a more steady view of the shot because that last one was a little bit shaky. So don't mind me while I adjust this tripod really quick. The ones that Dane roasted are Yemeni beans. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm just going to raise you guys up. Raise the roof. <laughs> you guys are going to see underneath my cabinet here. All the towels and... There we go. So still a little bit of channeling there, not coming together fully. So as you guys see, a lot of channeling there on the side. But we hit 40 grams in 31 seconds. Uh, we are going to give this one a taste test right now. Alright. You have to zoom in, you can zoom in. Okay. Hi, Tiffany. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and give this a taste test. So, um, definitely need to go ahead and dial that in one more time so that I can give you the most accurate results. But that one was a lot better than the first one. Uh, still a little bit of channeling. However, uh, we're going to try out one more time. We are going to make one more adjustment. So, that was a little bit too coarse. So... Now we are going to go to 11. I think 11 is going to be the perfect match for these beans here. So uh, I am just going to go ahead and make a milk-based beverage out of that one because that one was a decent shot, and you're not really going to tell in a milk-based beverage with that one. I got runaway beans everywhere. <laughs> Now that we have our 20 grams, we're going to go ahead and do this one more time here.
Everything is going really well, Tiffany. Thank you for asking. Got our 20 grams. Just keeping up with school and work. Heather's on. Hi, Heather. And, uh, Kadiha, I think is how you say her name, said, do you feel like your niche performs the way you expected it to? That's a good question. So since we got all of our channeling going on, we're going to go to our um, superstar here and hope that all the channeling is fixed once I use my Pullman Big Step here. So let's see how well it actually does perform. Right, now we go ahead and lock this back in. See if I can get you guys a good angle there. And here we go. So it still looks pretty fine, even though I just want a little bit more, uh, let's see. Man, that just does not want to come together. All right, so that shot, that's a shot that you do not want, unfortunately. Let's see here. All right, we're just going to go ahead and make some milk-based beverages with these. The output has not been bad. It's just I'm getting a, quite a bit of channeling uh, throughout the portafilter, so... Hopefully with the next bag, I can definitely fix that, but we will see. So I'm just going to rinse this out really quick. Go ahead and lock that back in there. And then I'm going to make some milk based beverage for you. So we are going to make a latte for the both of us. You want to show them this really quick? Yes. All right, so you want to get that vortex going. You want to get a nice creamy texture. So we're almost done here. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and wet that. And we are going to make our latte. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, 
So cheers, spilling everywhere. Wow, that's really good. That's really creamy. So um, even though the shot wasn't perfect, it's okay, especially when you're doing a milk-based beverage. And um, I actually prefer with a medium to dark roast to only do a milk-based beverage. So uh, definitely uh, would recommend this one for a milk-based beverage. And this one was the Milana with dark chocolate uh, nuts for tasting notes. So. Wow, that's really good. I'll have my wife try that. She's not a huge fan of uh, drinks like this unless you have a lot of sugar in them. Mm. But she will definitely give you an honest review of uh, mouthfeel and is it creamy. So it's kind of spilling on the side there. But Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Really good, actually. You like it? Mm-hmm. I'm impressed because the shot didn't look the best. Oh, thanks. <laughs> See, this is why you have a wife. She just tells you your flaws, but that's okay. That's, that's um, it's good. I have coffee on my hand. You should have just said, honey, that was a great shot. It was a great shot. Thank you, honey. It wasn't really a great shot. But... Um, my shoulder's in it. I kind of... All right. So we are going to go ahead and move to the next... Really? What? I need to try my hands. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and move to the next beans here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out really quick. Um, you had a question earlier about the niche. What's that? Uh, you had a question earlier about the niche. What is it? Uh, do you feel like your niche performs the way you expected it to? Um, yes and no. So make sure to stay tuned for my full review of the niche grinder coming up next week. Um, I have some good things and some not so good things to say about the niche. So definitely you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Uh. And Jane asked, could you sometime in the future make a video on hands-free streaming of milk? Steaming, I'm assuming she meant. Yeah, so I'll definitely make a, uh, like a, kind of like a hands-on training course, I guess, of um, how to steam milk properly. It's really easy once you get the technique down. It's not easy. <laughs> she said it's not easy. It's easy once you get it, but... All right, so again, we're going to do 20 grams here. You haven't used the flare yet, right? Not yet, nope. Okay, Justin was asking if you used it yet. So this is the Nepali, which is dark chocolate nuts tasting notes. Uh, so pretty excited to try this one as well. Like I said, that last one was really good for uh, that milk-based beverage. Like, yeah, it tasted delicious. That's the good thing about dark roast or even medium roast even if you mess up the shot i mean even with just anything with a milk based beverage you're always going to almost cover that up and it's going to taste really creamy as long as you really nail that microphone so mm -hmm. you nailed that microphone Sputum tool. Sputum tool. 19.9 grams. Go ahead and clean that up. All right, so I'm actually going to extend this out a little bit here so that it gets deeper into the basket when distributing. So I would even go a little bit more cause you want to make sure you feel a little bit of resistance in your portafilter. So that could also be a huge factor. 
So there we go. So now I feel the actual bed of grinds itself. So this should be a little bit better. I just have not adjusted this uh, yet for this. So like I have to always, cause this is a pretty much a 20 gram basket. You can fit 20 grams in here, but it's really only recommended for like 19. Um, that other one that I use for the La Morzacco is a 22 gram basket. So you can fit a little bit more inside of it. So you have to adjust that tamp or that distribution tool um, pretty much every time uh, from what I've experienced. So let me go ahead and put you guys here so you guys can see the shot. Let's hope that this shot is better. So that is one thing about lives and bottomless portafilters. You can't hide your flaws, which I'm okay with. All right, so our stream came together a lot faster on that one, which is good. Definitely gonna have to be a little bit more coarse, but it's not looking too, too bad. All right, so that was 32 seconds and we got our 40 grams. So not too bad, definitely could be a little better, but I'm gonna go ahead and make ourselves a milk, another milk-based beverage, see if I can uh, get another latte art down. So now that that's all done, I'm gonna kind of go right away here. We are going to see if we can't pour another latte art. So let me give you guys some tips when frothing your milk. So uh, always purge that steam wand like so. The best angle is to just pull that steam wand lever straight out or the steam wand right here, straight out right here. So it's almost that, that uh, really good angle. You're going to come in with your pitcher. You're going to rest this arm right onto the spout. So one thing that I definitely recommend, if you can come right over top of it, I'll just have to look through the camera. So see how it's right in the middle? You wanna come in, put that nozzle right inside the milk, and you're gonna to wanna to turn it a little bit to the right or to the left. You're not gonna to wanna to go all the way in, and you're not gonna to wanna to be too high up because then you're, not, then you're gonna to put too much air in there. So again, you're gonna to wanna to purge that steam wand, lift it straight out, put it inside of the uh, actual spout itself, put it halfway into the milk, turn to the right, lift it full power. You're gonna get that rotation going and gently pull that down. So now you're gonna hear what you hear is paper tearing and you're gonna know when it's about 20% volume increase and also when it becomes room temperature touch to the feel here on your hand. So once it gets pretty, um, when it gets to the same temperature of your hand, you're gonna to wanna to dip that into the milk, you're gonna submerge it, and you want that funnel, that vortex to keep going because that's gonna really uh, incorporate all of that microphone and really texture that milk really nicely. So right now it's about too hot to touch. We're gonna to turn it down. So you're gonna give it one tap. And normally if you can do it with one tap and you get this nice little uh, glossy finish, you know you nailed that microphone. So definitely, I will show you guys that in here in a second. But like I said, milk texturing is definitely a challenge, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too, too bad. So you want to take them over here just to show them that microphone or to show them that uh, texture. So this is like a glossy paint kind of look to it. Mm -hmm. So I am going to just transfer over to this picture. Um, just gonna give it like a tap here and then 
you just want to release all those air pockets in there and spin it and that's polishing up that milk so now you're just going to want to take that crema here kind of move it around and then we're going to go for a pour So something like that. Nice. Good job. So definitely, uh, I would say the most important thing, especially uh, if you're worried about um, your latte art, it's not necessarily about the latte art. You can just dump it in there. Uh, it's more about really nailing that frothing technique. So really getting that nice microphone uh, texture almost like a silky paint. Uh, I know that said a lot, but it definitely does make a big difference So uh, just something to show you guys here So as you can see when you nail your microphone, you're gonna notice that contrast between uh, your design and the almost like the canvas of um, Let me see if we can zoom in here. So right here you can see how this is a lot darker and then our design really pops out uh, you'll notice that if you don't put, if you don't incorporate enough uh, air into the milk, you're going to notice that you get like this washed out look to where that background doesn't really bring out the, your design. Um, and then when you get too much air in there, you're going to notice that they're just going to have a big white blob. So that's one thing to note. I would definitely try to nail that um, microfoam texture. Uh, the texture of the milk before you start pouring latte art because that's just really going to give you uh, the best taste to your milk-based beverage. So, cheers. Justin asked if you have any new recipes in the works. He's been practiced or he's been perfecting his iced coffee for the summer. Have you? Uh, uh, hey, Justin, have you tried that uh, iced caramel macchiato recipe that I gave you guys? I'd be interested to know. I got hair all over. <laughs> I got coffee all over. So. It's also another question. Um, I was thinking about growing my beard out um, and then only trimming it here and there uh, for the rest of the year. Tell me what you guys think. I think that length is good. Where it's at now. All right, honey, I'm gonna let you try it. This you one's can grow it. This yeah, one's I really like good, it. Flavio. With a milk-based beverage, uh, and usually a dark roast is used for that. Brent, that says hi, by the way. Hi, Brent. That is absolutely delicious. Okay, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. That one's even better than the first one. The creaminess of it is really good. Yeah, it is. You like it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right. Good job, Flavio. Good job, Flavio. And good job, Dylan. All right, here you go. <laughs> For creating it. All right, so uh, that was the Nepali blend. It was dark chocolate and nuts for tasting notes. That's so definitely... Good give that one a try as well. So now we are on to our last one, which is the um, Oaxaca, Oaxaca, Oaxaca. Oaxaca? So like not sure how to pronounce that one, but it has tasting notes of strawberry and pink guava. Ooh. I mean, who doesn't like strawberry? Right, and guava. And guava. Well, don't forget about that. Jeffrey said Duck Dynasty in regards to you talking about a beard. Yeah. <laughs> that is too far for me, darling. Nothing too far? Ag nothing against the beard. I like beards, but not that long. All right, so we're going to do one more, and we are going to go ahead and taste test this one. So it is 8.33. Got to go to work shortly but that is that okay <laughs> it's 8 33 i gotta work go to work shortly <laughs> did it right. you want to come over here honey yes otherwise they're gonna be blink blinkly staring at a, <laughs> at a uh brittle dual boiler <laughs> i thought you're coming back <laughs> i gotta do this first all right, so here we go. We are going to be trying out this one. I, like I said, I tried this for for, or for Aeropress. Uh, I'll definitely be doing this uh, for Aeropress this weekend to show you guys. 
but this was absolutely amazing for AeroPress. Uh, so definitely would recommend the uh, Osaka. Osaka. Osaka for AeroPress. And then this would be good in a pour over too. So we're gonna try that out as well. We got a couple questions whenever you're ready for them. Just let me know. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this one to a 10. So we are at a nine, a 12, 11, 10, I guess is the magic number. So let's, fingers crossed, start that one right now. Wow, that one smells really good. Mmm, yeah, it does. Wow. It's a nice aroma. Yeah, that one smells, smells absolutely like, delicious. It really does smell sweet. All right. So, last one here. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. All right, well. This is what happens when you do a live, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead. You just got so excited about it. I got it. so excited for it, you know. Just How do you think that would um would go in the grinder oh, nicely? No. <laughs> sad day. Sad sad day. Okay. Clean up time. Hold on. Don't do this at home. Look away from the camera. Just joking. I'm going to restart that. Hold on. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, we're not going to try to salvage that. But that's okay. At least it landed all on the tamping mat. That was nice. Yeah, see? Good thing you have a tamping mat. You know, things happen. Nothing happens perfectly on lives. But that's okay because you just have to compensate. So, let's see. This is what we're going to do. Flavio said, don't worry. <laughs> All right. We're going to salvage some of this, you know. This is just goes to show you that when something bad happens, there's always a reason for it. I don't know what the reason was. Maybe there was, I don't know. But let's see what we have. We have 12.5 grams that we could salvage. So or salvage. So here we go. We are just going to add, you know what? This was the reason why Mr. Thomas gave us this. So we are going to tear that. So we are looking for uh, seven, seven point five. Grams here. All right, we'll go 7.6. So then we are just gonna take this, and then we are gonna throw that under. And it was like nothing ever happened. There you, go. you just gotta stay positive and good things will come. Here we go. Let's try this one more time. All right. All right. Here we go. So we are just going to go ahead and flush that since it was a second here since we did that. Just dropping everything, but that's okay. Grab our scale. And let's hope that this is the best shot out of all of them. The one that we messed up the most, we're going to hope for the best. So again, here we go.
Let's hope for a good shot here. So still pretty fine. Obviously when changing from three bags of beans like this, they're not all gonna be the same grind setting, unfortunately. But uh, definitely came together pretty decent there. Uh, looks like a pretty good shot, to be honest. So who would have guessed? The one that looked the worst turns out the best. So that, that just goes to show you guys, when bad things happen in your life, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Wow, that smells really good. Alright, you want to take the camera, honey? Yep. So, you're going to have to zoom out because it's like really zoomed in. You don't want this zoomed in your face? No. <laughs> wow, that smells really good. I want to go smell it. Wow, that's really sweet. You want to smell it? Oh. oh. <laughs> you said I want to smell it and you're moving away from mm. it. Yeah, it smells really good. Alright, we are going to froth one more time. My wife loves me because we make a lot of dishes when we make coffee videos, but that's just a part of it. Uh, it's a part of the challenge. Yeah, that's my favorite. I love so many dishes. All right, so let's show them <laughs> that frothing technique one more time. Okie dokie. So purge it, bring it straight out into the spout here. Turn it on. Here's my handle, here's my spout. You want to get that paper tearing sound. You want to keep going until it's about 20% volume and raised. And you're going to also make sure that it gets to about the temperature of your hand before you submerge that steam wand. So just stay nice and steady. So right now it's about the same as my hand. So I'm just going to dunk that in there, submerge it. And as you see, it's going to continue to uh, make that vortex, that swirl in there which is going to allow all that microfoam, all the air that you just added to be incorporated nicely within the milk. So now it's too hot to touch. Give it that nice little tap. And as you see, no bubbles at all. Just a nice silky texture there. So that's what you're looking for. Uh, if you nail the texture down, unless you transfer, which I'm going to do, uh, you shouldn't have to uh, really tap it really at all. All you have to do is just kind of, they call it polishing it off, which is just mixing it around like this. Actually, yeah, you know what? We're just going to pour from this. We're going to try some latte art with the uh, Breville jug since this is pretty good texture in here, and I don't really want to mess it up with transferring. So here we go. So I went through it too fast there, but good texture on the milk. I'll go ahead and set that down for a second here before I spill it. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a taste test. Actually, I tried this with AeroPress and I absolutely loved it. However, I think I like it better in a milk-based beverage. I mean, this is mm. absolutely delicious. And I've been on a pour over an AeroPress kick. Um, I've been staying away from lattes. Number one, it's not really healthy for me. And number two, uh, I actually love the taste of the uh, actual coffee now. So um, to actually enjoy these three uh, lattes, I mean, that's pretty impressive. So. Uh, I would say my favorite would be the strawberry and guava tasting notes. So this one. I want to try. Wow. That's so creamy. I'll let you try it. All right. Okay. So she's going to give you a taste test. Oh, from here. Give them a taste test. Yum. That's you like really it? good. Yeah. 
This is my favorite one so far out of those. Are you just saying that because I said it? Mm -mm. (laughs) Mm-mm. Just joking. All right. Wow, that's really good. So my wife really liked that one as well. So I still got some of my beard. This is why I don't have a beard. I I can't stay clean. Strawberry and guava, right? Yes. So really good. Oh, hello. Whoa. (laughs) So we're on like a different camera view than we normally are. So this one was the uh, Oaxaca, which was the uh, strawberry pink guava. tasting notes this one was really good so definitely give this one a try um uh, this one was probably my favorite yes uh my next favorite was probably the um nepali blend bl- blend blend blend, blend. <laughs> uh this one was dark chocolate and nuts for tasting notes um so this one would be probably my second favorite and then i still enjoyed this one as well um it was the uh, Milana, which was dark chocolate and nuts mm-hmm. tasting notes as well, uh, which was here. So there is two more bags. There is a decaf one that I have not opened yet. So I definitely need to try the decaf. But again, um, all of these beverages here uh, tasted really good. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably put these in the refrigerator for my wife because she likes to have coffee. She's, she's in school, so she likes to have a little bit of a... Uh, sweet tooth when she's doing some homework. So I'll go ahead and give this one a taste test again. Or the next morning. Absolutely delicious. So yeah. um, definitely still my favorite. Again, thank you so much, Flavio, for sending me these beans. Um, they were absolutely thank delicious. Um, and yeah, I mean, these were really good. I'm really excited. I'm going to try all these in the AeroPress as well, uh, even though some of them have tasting notes that aren't sweet like the strawberry and guava uh, i still like to just try them in every single method i can just to get the most experience out of the bean as possible uh, so that's one thing with starting this youtube channel uh, something that i have been really really excited about is trying beans uh, i know good brothers if you guys haven't followed good brothers as well definitely check out good brothers as well um, he has the uh, roasting dates on them as well as long as well as well as the mm-hmm. tasting notes so definitely give them a try um again flavio uh, thank you so much from Apprende cafe for sending me these to review uh, i look forward to trying these in different methods i look forward to trying the flare as well and um yeah let's just say that i have quite a bit of beans to uh to get going on here so i'm gonna be very very caffeinated in the next okay. couple of days uh, I'll probably be uh, needing some of Flavio's decaf that I have in there uh, by the time I'm done making 18 other shots. So thank you so much for everybody for tuning in. If you guys are still watching this video, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. I thank you guys so much for the love and support you've shown for our channel. It yeah, means a lot you to us. Uh, if you guys have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow as well as When this video is published and posted here, right when we finish, uh, definitely go back and hit that like button, smash that thumbs up, because that's really, really going to help the YouTube algorithm at no expense to you guys, but it does help my channel grow. It helps this video be seen, and it helps just for um, the creation of my content. So again, I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned. Tomorrow, I have a couple lives tomorrow as well as uh, a special guest on Instagram. So you're not going to want to miss that as well. And I hope you guys have a great and blessed rest of your night or start to your day wherever you are in the world. Stay caffeinated, my friends. I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Peace.